It is the first of its kind, and it is almost ready to take on crime. A community safety center opens next Friday, just one block from the U of M. It's part of an evolving approach to tackling crime in Dinkytown. WCCO's Adam Duxter shows us the space and the difference some hope it makes. It's a transformation almost complete. This was a lot of work. They have done a tremendous amount of work in this space for us. Dinky Town's former Kitty Cat Club just days away from opening as a community safety center for Nick Juarez of the U's Department of Public Safety. It, it closer than it looks. It can't come soon enough. So this will reduce the opportunity for some of the crimes that we've seen to happen, uh, but it also will give us a uh, a foothold in Dinky Town to start building stronger partnerships that we already have. Partnerships with community organizations who've signed on to use the space. In addition to security, who will be on site in the evenings, there will be space for studying and safety courses. Having that visible presence, the chief is very big as he wants lights on, he wants officers walking the streets, he wants officers to be visible, and we've been trying to do that. For neighbors. Very thankful that we have something just feet away from where I work. It's a welcome change. Everybody here deserves to be safe um, in the neighborhood as well. So hopefully this will just cut down on the crime and give people a safe place to stay. And when doors do open here next Friday, they'll be open for quite some time. The university signing a five year lease agreement to be in this spot, which they say is a sign of a long term investment to Dinky Town safety. In Dinkytown, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. Juarez says the space will also help grow the partnership between the university and the Minneapolis Police Departments. Campus police have been responding to Dinkytown 911 calls since March.